What's going on everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, consider subscribing. I just got off of work and I'm heading straight to Six Star Motorsport where my car is getting worked on. I'm tired but I'm also really excited for this. We're going to find out when my car is going to be done and I'm going to let Mark explain everything that we're doing to my car. Alright, just a quick stop to get Mark a drink. I don't know which one he's going to like but I'm going to take him this gold one. It's pineapple, it's really good, it's one of my favorites, so I'm gonna see if he likes it. And get me a watermelon. And here we are. We are back with all these beautiful Subarus. And uh, I think I can see mine all the way back there in the cage. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head inside right now and talk to Mark, like I said, and just get all these updates and good news, hopefully. So I got a gold pineapple and a watermelon. Ooh, you get to choose watermelon. watermelon. Yeah. All, right. all right, everybody, this is Mark. What's up, And uh, right now we're about to go inside and he's gonna tell us everything about my car. Alright everybody, so we're in here in the show area where they showcase all of their parts and before we talk about what parts I went for on my build, he's going to quickly explain to us. It's not quick. No. This is never going to be quick. You're going down the rabbit hole of questions, sir. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him take the spotlight from here. You're trying to ask about a Subaru. What's the problem with a Subaru? First thing is the problem? It's a Subaru. You're never gonna have uh, the consistent kind of reliability you can uh, you can think of from like a Honda or a Toyota. A Subaru is what it is. It has the character of being a car that's uh, that no other car can be. You can't you can't buy another car that can do what a Subaru does. And for that, you got to deal with the flaws that are there. And we try to fix the flaws here at Six Star. So just like with your car, oil pickup tube. First and foremost, make sure you don't uh, make sure you don't have any cracks in the tube. Very documented problem, so you can look up on Nasiac IWSTI. STI. It's an issue that's been around since the early 2000s of the Subaru. IAG has a fix right there, and uh, it comes with every single engine package we do. Next thing, head studs. Every single car head gasket. Anytime we pull a cylinder head, we replace the head bolts with head studs. We also put a brand new gasket kit, new heads, new uh, new head gaskets, new seals all the way throughout. And just like with your setup, especially when you have an engine failure of like a rod bearing or something, oil cooler, oil pump, and a brand new oil pan. With that, for the other side of reliability, Dom Ford cooling mod. Boy Dom Nicosia invented that a few years ago, and it's been a saving grace to the Subaru community. Another thing you're getting towards reliability, bam, AOS. This is the IAG unit. Um, it's a straight series AOS. Uh, best thing on the market that you can do to your Subaru for reliability. Right there. A uh, compilation here of a street series mount kit too. Uh, pitch mount, motor mounts, trans mount. Uh, very, very common, kind of, a, kind of a standard process. As soon as you start to get some worn out mounts, we just throw some IAGs in there and call it a day fix for all. And then uh, something that you'll be getting, this is the 6 Star Series 6 fuel system. Fuel rails, lines, uh, FPR with the mount. This mount does not come with it, but uh, we do have all the hardware adaptable so that it just goes right into your fuel system. Plug and play. It comes with the uh, silicone hose for your uh, uh, FPR source. And bam. It's a stock inlet, aftermarket inlets, your FP3 inch, no problem. Supports, uh, we've done over 800 horse and it's a series kit, not parallel. Mm -hmm. Optional uh, colors for the fuel rails and for the lines. There you go. You're also getting a clutch, which we always recommend ACT, SB10, HDSS. It's a standard, it's what we use in every single car. How much power can it hold? So we've done uh, well over the rated 400 something torque, but uh, yeah, we've pretty much stage two all the way up to. 
stage two at flex. I mean, we've done about 500 horsepower on the street disc, no problem. And I tell guys, replace the clutch more often than deal with the chatter of like a six puck. How often do you think, you sh or how often should people change it? Depends on how they drive. I've seen guys roast clutches going up, the, just, just pulling it to a, a trailer. Ah, uh, yeah. Trying to just pull a car in and the clutch is gone. It's, it's, it's pretty funny, but I've seen some guys take a clutch a couple hundred thousand miles. Yeah. I got a little old lady, 90 years old, has a standard Forester. That thing's been running for 300 something thousand miles. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> another part that we have towards the uh, reliability kit and that's a turbo inlet hose if you don't have an aftermarket one we put it in with every build uh, metal manifold version which is this we also have the plastic manifold version very much always in stock uh, and then lastly we were set up on top of the CR6 kit some injector dynamics injectors uh, uh, we pair that with the fuel lab 6 micron filter so that you have a nice clean injector for the uh, ethanol, because you never have you never have a, a knowledge about what's in there. Flex fuel, ah, flex fuel. So we actually have our own flex fuel kit. Uh, we've been making it for a few years. We've had a lot of success with it. Um, it is a uh, plastic box. Allows the epoxy to kind of expand and contract. Allows the unit to breathe a little bit. Um, we use a, a genuine GM flex sensor, uh, pressure kit, we make our own uh, harness in the house and the whole kit is, the whole kit is made domestically in, right here in America. Alright and here we have an example of a IAG stage 2.5 closed deck all assembled with one of the 6-star CRS6 kits. As you see uh, Fuel Lab partnered up with the uh, FPR kit right here. Um, the IAG stage 2.5 closed deck is pretty standard. Most of these motors are getting uh, some sort of IAG block. Usually it's the stage two five closed deck and that's kind of what you see here. So if you go through, you got blocks, more blocks, and more blocks, and everything here pretty much uses an IAG block. All right, so originally I wanted to run either the stage one or the stage two tough, but Mark recommended me to go with the stage 2.5 closed deck and I'm gonna let him explain why. All right, so we actually go with the stage 2.5 closed deck pretty much on all the builds too. Uh, biggest thing is the closed deck. The piston rod motor setup is phenomenal for my AG. Really good reliability. But if we want something that's gonna last about 100,000 miles and it's gonna take uh, a little bit more abuse at like, you know, four to 450 horse, we want a closed deck. We want something that's not gonna allow the cylinder walls to get oblonged. Uh, we wanna prevent the, the possibility of a rod bearing issue because of fuel wash from cylinder walls. Um, that's very common once you start opening up that cylinder wall. Start getting all this uh, blow by through there. You know, you start consuming a lot of oil. It is possible that you're just gonna fuel wash the cylinder walls. Oil's gonna dilute itself with fuel. Throw a rod bearing and there you go. A little sneak peek on what's coming to their channel. They're also recording, working on my car. So make sure to go subscribe to Six Star Motorsports and uh, show some love. Well, I'm coming on a new podcast. You'll be seeing the owner of this guy too. So we'll be actually talking about why he did this. And it's gonna be a fun little concept because you know he's a, he's a bit of a uh, bit of a different type of, of of owner than what you would think. Yeah. The guy that's gonna be behind the wheel of this car is is gonna be a fascinating story too. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is original owner. That's gonna be on your. This is on our page. It's gonna be a. It's a fifteen thousand mile car, original, single owner, full turnkey, uh, six star seven fifty kit. Mm -hmm. How much is this making? Uh, so this is gonna be a seven fifty plus car. Seven fifty plus. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be here. I'll be here one day. Might yeah, be looking like this. The dyno pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. We'll invite you over. Oh, for sure. Uh, I'd love to see that. Check this thing out. Yes, sir. All right, so that'll be it. Say peace out from Six Star. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everything. sir. And Have I'll see you uh, next time. Yeah, we'll be talking soon. All right. So that is it. Mark did a great job. He's still getting used to the camera. And honestly, I'm still getting used to talking to the camera. But he did a good job. And uh, big shout out to him because he doesn't even normally work on Saturdays. And he took the time to come in and do this with me. 
this is just the beginning. This is just a little little taste of what's gonna be coming with Six Star and Mark. I'm gonna be doing a lot of projects with them. We've been talking. He has a podcast. Uh, make sure to look out for that. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to Six Star Motorsport. Show them love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.